Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Nancy with Little Treasures by Nancy. I'm gonna say hello to everybody that's been in the chat here. We had um Liz, Jason, Robin, Monique, Sandra, and and speaking of hello my hey. dad. How are you? There's Ms. Robin. Hi, everybody. How's everyone doing? How's everybody's week been going? Are you feeling better, Robin? Yes, much better. Thanks for asking. That's good. Yeah. I've just been a little tired today. So I've been prepping for, for the for the stuff because I didn't want this to be too long. Because um, I'm using some Jenga blocks today. But cool. you guys know how to glue Jenga blocks together, right? So I just... I, I just pre pre um assembled some of the pieces. And you're live. I mean your video the other day where, where you made that little shelf for your yeah. gave me idea from for my because I was trying to do uh using this guy here. So I was trying to figure out what to do with it. So I'm gonna be making a box for it. Cool. And then I'm going to use this as the door for the front. And I'm going to use magnets to adhere it to the box. So you can pull this off and there's a shelf. Oh, cool. Good idea using magnet. So that this will be the shelf behind it plus the, the bottom shelf. <laughs> so we'll see. You getting ready? <laughs> So let me let me angle you guys down. Squeak! I, I, I forgot squeak alert. So I, I already pre-cut this piece of plywood because I don't think wanted to see me cut this plywood, you know, with all the noise. And I had to go outside and do it too. So wow, it looks good. It's a, a scrap a scrap piece of plywood that I had, and. I was going to ask a question. My first question is, I have this gingham yellow, right? And this floral pattern, which is going to be on the back of the shelf right here. So mm -hmm. which one would look better with the beehive in front? That uh, one? Yeah, the yellow. Or I that think. one? Uh... But I'm gonna be painting this yellow. Oh yeah. And the edge black. So either that are, one. Are those the only two choices? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought I had more paper that, that that goes with this, and I and I couldn't find it. Oh. Because we had the black, but that that that, that looks a little yeah too wild. No. And then this well, one, this one on the back is just um some cut aparts. Yeah. What, what color is the yellow? Like, is it the same color as the background? The yellow, the yellow that I'm using? Yeah. Is the Waverly Maze? Well, everybody's saying yellow. <laughs> oh, well, go with everybody then. <laughs> I, I, what I do I know? No. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show them. Because if, if I do the... There you go. If I do this part here all in yellow... Yeah. Then it'll be yellow on yellow. Yeah. It's going to be a it's little just... darker, but it's still going to be yellow on yellow. So look, do we still, I... still want to go yellow? I made a honeycomb thing. Here and look, I put yellow on the inside, but then I had like um, jute color on the outside. So there's a, it's nice if there's a contrast, but I really like yellow in here. On the inside? Yeah, but do you have another yet another color you could put like for um for this part, not yellow, but maybe another color. For on, on the outside, I'm I'm playing this black. Okay, that's black, but, but this 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 one's gonna be yellow. Yeah. I Everybody's mean, say, still saying yellow. Because it's like honey, it's supposed to be yellow, right? So I'll do yeah, I'll do the yellow. Yeah, I don't know. I think you should if, not. If it doesn't, if it doesn't look right, we could always put the the other paper on top. Okay. 
It's just paper. It's just oh, paper. Anyway, I didn't show you guys. I, I decorated the, the, my backdrop with all my bee stuff. Yeah, like I noticed bee, that. My beehive, my little bee signs, my bee spatulas, and then my bee um, wall hanging. Cool. You could do a video, like a recap of all of your the bee things that you did in like in a bee video, you know, for now. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I was looking for the beehive that I made on one of my videos, the the actual beehive, you know, the box with the, the, the little slats and everything. Yeah. And for the life of me, I don't know where I put it. Oh, you can't find your beehive? I looked in every nook and cranny that I have. Hmm. Maybe you sold it? No. Oh. I did not sell it. I was I was supposed to call my parents to see if I gave it to them, but I forgot. Oh. Make another one. That was a lot of work. I mean, if it's that, worth that, it. that, <laughs> that, that project was a lot of work. Yeah. I've got all my little ginger ale bottles here because <laughs> I had to drink it, you know, when I was sick. <laughs> That's a little messy. What should I do? Anything you want. Um, er, I'm supposed to be cleaning this weekend. Chatting. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to get other people to join me whenever they want. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't have to do what, what I'm doing. It's, it's just... How you well, maybe I should make something B, too. If you want to, that's fine, too. Uh, er, I don't have any... Uh... If you have anything. Actually, I was going to make... Uh... So I had a bunch of um, bee themed paper. I'll, sh I'll show you what I had. But um, I, I looked through all my stash and I, I believe I've used it all. I was upset. I was like, oh, I thought I had more. I have this. This paper yeah. here is um, Tula and Norbert's Sweet as Honey. Look at all those pretty papers. Oh, yeah, really cute. I have some of their stick the stickers left over. These are the stickers that came with it. You know what? I just realized I was supposed to mail Sarah some ribbon that had sunflowers on it, and I totally forgot about it. Ask Liz how good I am at mailing stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. But I just remembered, so. Maybe you'll get it this year. Oh, I'm so bad at mailing, but anyway, okay. Well, I was going to use these wood tiles, and I was going to make something like how she has in the back there, like a honeycomb-shaped shelf or something. Wait. I'll bring it closer. <laughs> Liz says, don't feel bad, Robin. Me this too. Guy. Think about this? Yeah, something like that, but a little different. Like not as like elaborate. But these are all all flowers that honey's. I mean that bee like. Oh, nice. That's I cool. I have their names on it and everything. So it's educational too. Let me get my big can so you can see what I'm doing. Sarah said, "Life happens, Robin." It's, I understand. Oh, okay. I still have it. I'm using double-sided tape to um to give the paper to the to the wood. Why didn't you use one of those papers from that pad for this project then? You didn't hear the the beginning of that of that of that sentence. Oh, you didn't have the papers. I thought I had more of those papers, but as, apparently I used them all. Oh, okay. All I had left was the stickers. I grabbed it because I Sorry. I grabbed it. And I go, is this all I have? So the, this um this gingham and the floor is, is from another paper pad. 
Oh, okay, okay. So I was looking around, looking around to see if I had anything that, that I could use for the background. Larry's here. Hi, Larry. Larry. He says, howdy, howdy, friends and neighbors and all these hearts and eyes with hearts. Hi, oh, Steve. You know oh, speaking of Steve, Harnell Media sponsors me now. And, well, well, and my, my, my website is now live with items in the shop for sale. Cool, Nancy. And I'll be adding more stuff as I get the pictures taken and and edited and whatever. So uh, we'll have to go check it out. Yes. What's your website? Uh, let me see. LittleTreasuresByNancy.com. Cool. That's awesome. This open. The orange heart is to recognize autism. That's Ooh. Good, Larry. Um, er. <laughs> yeah, I'm not prepared. <laughs> what else is new? Nothing new there. Okay. Well, you, you saw me on Wednesday. I, I was having a, oh a tough time. It's like, oh gosh. Like, really, Nancy? So today I was, I, I'm probably over prepared to have too much, too many things here on my desk. Oh, yeah, but after Wednesday, I rearranged my desk again. Cause trying to get the, the, my silicone stamps where I can get the two of them easier than what I did on Wednesday. But still it's, it's one of those things that, that, um, I like the, um, what um, Steve said about the notebook. Probably be easier to, to flip through than oh, yeah. than what I have right now. Yeah, I was thinking about it too. But where do you get those sheets? Because uh, oh. my husband has some sheets, but they're um, for cards, you know? You can get them on Amazon in different sizes. The regular eight and a half by eleven sheets, like for notebook, uh, notebook paper, uh -huh. and then they have the ones for the 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 baseball cards. Yeah, that's the one he's got for like hockey cards. Yeah, they, they have they have um different sizes. I'll just hold this for a bit to, for it to harden up a little. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait till um wait, uh, I can find some notebooks at Salvation Army. I need to see what a hexagon looks like. Can you show me your thing again? <laughs> what was that again? Can you show me your um your shelf thing? The B shelf. Just have it like kind of where your pencil is. Like just down a bit, so I can just see. Okay, yeah, perfect. Thanks. There. Yeah, it's like this. Yeah, that's great. Thanks. And these were the little boxes that I found at, at um Michaels. They were ninety nine cents a piece. Oh, cool. So I, this, I got seven of them. So this girl that I know, like that I knew, well online. I never really met her or anything. But um, we hadn't talked for seven years. And for some reason, she thought about me yesterday. So she mm -hmm. messaged me today. And then and she was telling me that she has an Etsy store. And she was trying to talk me into getting an Etsy store. And I'm like, I have a website. Yeah, that, that's that's, that's the, one of the big reasons that, that I wanted to get a website was get, to get away from Etsy. Yeah. Because... They, they 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 charge you with listing. They charge you when you're selling. They charge you um, a percentage on this and that and the other. Yeah. That, that little um the bunny rabbit that I sold the ballerina. Uh huh. They almost took nine dollars out on uh, in fees. Really. Mm hmm. Wow. And they probably take even more from me because I'm Canadian, right? I'm I'm not sure how they how that works, but the thing is also. You have to wait 
to get your money. Oh, do you have to like get so much before they release it or something? Well, if you don't get $25 at one time, you have to wait to, to the next Monday for them to release it. Oh. But if you get if you get, you know, $25, you they'll release it in 2 days. But still, mm -hmm. then then you got um PayPal holding it cuz I I I transferred to my PayPal. Yeah. Then you have PayPal holding it. Yeah. For a day oh. before they release it. So I'd rather ha have people pay me directly. Mm -hmm. And that way I don't have to pay wait. Because sometimes, you know, mommy needs some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you um did you set up your website yourself? No, Mr. Steve is helping me. Nice. Yeah, he's good. So I I've, I've been sending sending all my stuff to them and they're they're posting it for me. Cool. That's Steve good service it. at Harneal Media. You guys should check them out. Did you put the link in the description box? Yes, I did. Make sure to check that link. Steve says that they sell those plastic sleeves at office supply stores. Maybe Dollarama would have it in the stationery section, do you think? Could be. Oh, why did I decide to do this? <laughs> I don't want to hold it. I would have to get two, two different sizes because um, some of my stamps, are most of them are the same size, but some of them are a little bigger. So here we go. Here's the the background. Wait. Now we I did the uh, these guys <clears throat> already. There's there are eight blocks of, in, in a row, and these are going to be the the side walls. And before I put them on, I'm going to paint them because that way I don't have to worry about messing up the background. So put some some music and watch me paint. Oh boy! <laughs> oh, I know I put my brushes out. It, it's, I'm not doing a um, how you call it, a full coat. I just want to to put a little bit of color on it. <laughs> okay. So how, how was everybody's weekend? I mean, week. And what are you doing for the weekend? <laughs> I'm going to be cleaning my room <laughs> and crafting. That's basically my, 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 my um, weekend. Because, you know, I'm, I'm co-hosting that um, craft room organization challenge the one with crafty peep yeah crafty peep and annie mm -hmm. but it's not till february 16th okay I'm leave it like that for now um and i want to get a video out next week so i'm gonna also uh work on a video at the same time Question for everybody. I got a video that I need to edit. Well, I have several videos. What do you guys want to see first? A Jenga turtle or a Jenga llama? Okay. I'm sorry, Larry. He said, for some reason, I was been feeling a little down, but went for a short walk and feel a little better. Those endorphins from exercising, they, 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 help, ah! a lot. they help a lot. <sighs> so tumbling tower blocks, a turtle or a llama first?
We got one for turtle. Maybe I should hot glue this instead of like, yeah, what was I thinking? <laughs> All I was thinking was wood glue, so I should use wood. I mean, it was wood, so I should use wood glue. Hey, Larry says turtle. Okay. Is it turtle a, it is. A sea turtle? I, I just have to repaint him. Because I, I don't like the color that, that I painted him. My week has been long, says Sarah. One of my babies were, were sick and with a little stomach bug working my business, but hopefully my weekend will be much better. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sarah. Which one, the, the, the little girl or the, one of the boys? So are you guys playing in the snow the, um, on your channel, I mean, on your Facebook page? That, that must've been fun. It was in the 80s and now it's in the 60s today. Hey, I got an idea. Wait. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you our weather is bipolar. At least my paint is not gloopy like my white paint. Maybe I should scroll something. <laughs> <laughs> or I could do stamps. You could show me how to do stamps. <laughs> I don't I have any do bees, though. I don't think I have. I have some flowers. I'll just be patient. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'll just get the hot glue. Hey, people watching, thank you guys for spending your Friday with us. What if, uh, what if I put something? Wait, I got an idea. Larry says we don't, we don't hardly ever get snow. We get ice and rain. Larry, I don't get snow or ice, or we get lots of rain. It's not gonna work. But no snow or ice. Wait, what? Wait. Tallahassee got some some flurries the the other day. Um, day. When it got down into the twenties up there, some areas of Tallahassee got some flurries. I go. I lived up there for twenty something years and did not one time. I'm down in South Florida, and, and here comes the flurries. It's no, both sides. It snowed 25 centimeters here. I think I could live with flurries. <laughs> <laughs> I watch a, another um, lady on YouTube. She's a... Um, a, a um, a thrifter no she also does um um, um diys on a, on a separate channel uh-huh she was showing all her snow it's like it's still snowing and all you can see is white outside her her window well uh, it doesn't get cold enough for that far out race to our uh, ice wait one more time it doesn't get cold enough, Larry, for our rain to turn into ice. <laughs> okay. Wait, I can't use that one. I'm almost done here. 
for these pieces. I'm painting all sides because I'm, I'm not sure what, what side is going to be exposed because, this is, like I said, most of my DIYs on here are being done for the first time. So this way, if I, if I paint all four, four sides, six sides, whatever, I don't have to go back and if anything is exposed. This says, we need some snow here in Brooklyn, New York. Nothing but rain since Christmas. Still have until March. Hopefully, we will see some snow. What? You want <laughs> snow? I'm sure it's cold, though, right? Or she, not? She wants a white spring. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? My God, my thing's coming apart over there. If you watch my video, that's why I glued it to paper first because it held up better, you know? <laughs> it was easier to manage. You could also use it because I was going to do something today, but I don't, I don't think I have time. But you know the boxes that you get for, for like cereal or whatever? uh-huh these kind of these kind of boxes yeah these are pretty sturdy and they make a good um backdrop for paper or whatever oh yeah to, to, to glue onto okay i'm gonna fix this one oh. <laughs> it is cold but we are used to snow i'm sorry I'll send some snow when I see some, okay? Jason says, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, snow all day today. Yep. It stopped snowing here, thank God. <laughs> Do you guys get a lot of snow days up there? Yeah. And this year's supposed to be the worst year for snow. Yikes. And my husband does snow removal. And I'm, I said to him at the beginning of the year, like this season, I was like, they said it's supposed to be the worst year. And he's like, oh, they say that every year. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happened this year? He's like. Uh, uh, There's so much <laughs> snow. <laughs> all mad. Larry said he's hoping for an early spring. I'm ready to get outside and crank up my saw and lathe. What did I think to do this? Where you live, Larry? Oh, God, I hate this project already. <sighs> okay, those are done. Let me clean my hands because you know I got paint all over me. There. I got glue all over me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna paint the the this part of the beehive now while this is drying up. Let's move you over. Thank you. Thank you. And I think I missed a piece on this guy over here. Yep, I did. Okay. Uh, both sides. Shame on me. Let me double check all the other guys. Oh, I missed this guy too. You know when you have an idea and you're like, oh yeah, it's going to go so good. And then you try it and then you're like, <laughs> maybe not. Wednesday. <laughs> Hi Tinkerbella. Hi Tinkerbella. That, that's why I wrote it in the in the comments earlier. I have an idea in my head. Let me see if it actually works out. Because <laughs> you, you you have this idea like, oh, this would look good here or there, or I can make it with this or make it with that. And when you come and do it, it's like, uh, what was I thinking? Yeah, I know. That's why Jerry was the one that made up money in the jar for me because 
Every time I say, I have an idea, he said, you should put money in the jar every time you, say, you have an idea. Okay. I have a new idea. I'm not going to do this thing because it's not. I have good. roofs, but no walls for tools, no heat. No air conditioning. I can't move my tools in, in, in the house. There's some people I know. <laughs> they don't want, want you. You have the tools inside the house. Kick them out. Yucky glue. I don't want to waste all my wood things. Jason said he's, he's tired of snow. Yeah. I'm tired of heat. I'm making a little shelf with this uh this bee beehive here. It's gonna be the front door. Robin made something on uh, 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 and she actually scrolled her her door. Yeah, I'm, wanna I'm see kidding. it? I'm but mine kidding. doesn't mine doesn't look like that. Like mine's not a beehive. No, but I'm saying the, the idea of, of the cutout. For the door. Here it is here. There you go. Isn't that cute? And then it just opens up. And then you can see all the little I made all those inside too. All the little um succulents. Succulents. And then the door closes. And it's just a ribbon holding the door, like little hinges. And it's actually Billy and Charles that <laughs> showed me how to do that. That part, Charles, you know, Charles Deering. <laughs> well, I was I was thinking how I was, I was gonna open and close this one because of the six sided. Uh huh. It was it was gonna be a weird um. So that's when I decided I'm gonna use magnets. Tinker Bella asked if, if there's a video of um, my. My project. Yes, there is. I'll, I'll post it after the live. You guys can go check it out. I, I do have Robin's channel um down below. You see, I didn't even know you were gonna come on. Yeah. I, I have her channel link down below. <laughs> Okay, wait. This is this might work out actually. I'm not giving up. Never give up. That's my motto. Yeah, the <sighs> one line in December that I wanted to give up when I was making that 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 whip topping on the on the mug oh yeah oh i wanted to give up so bad but you didn't you persevered and yeah, it came I've, out so I've, cute I've been, I've been this close to, to um grabbing that whipped um that whipped clay yeah. from uh, michael's but then i go no i need to get this first because <laughs> because I, I only have so much money it's like Okay, yeah. what, what, what's more important? Some wood glue or some paper or some yarn? Yarn. So, <laughs> yarn yarn one last time. So that that's still on, on my on my want list. I want, I'm wondering when they're gonna have those five dollar grab bags. They should be soon. They should be. Aren't they around the twenty fifth, I thought? I don't know. I haven't been to Michael's. I went to Hobby Lobby this week. I can only go to one store a week. Because <laughs> yeah. I'll spend I'll spend money at both stores. I can't see. But do you think they're gonna they're gonna make them ten dollars again? Why were they ten dollars last time? Yep. They were. Yep. Oh, you didn't. No. You, you haven't been watching people's hauls on the on those boxes. Uh, no. Well, you yeah. should. 
they were, were, they were saying, I, I can't believe that they raised the price to ten dollars. Oh no. Mm hmm Because they know people will pay it. Well, I'm not it's, getting most of the time it's junk. My my two lot the one I got um doing like right after Halloween. That that because I got them when when Jerry and Annie got their boxes. Oh yeah. And they got a bunch of nice stuff. So I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm going to go get me some boxes now. Because I'm, I'm, I'm serious. The next day after their live, yeah. I went. And I got junk. Yeah. What did you get? Just a bunch of um gift, those those little um goodie bags that you give to kids to put their candy in. Okay. I got tons and tons of that. Oh. So I, I gave those to my sister because she works at a school. Yeah. And actually, most most of the stuff that I got for those boxes, I gave it to her. Okay. And then this time around, I got a bunch of baking stuff. Like sprinkles and stuff. No, um, um, think of what I just said. Yes, it went to ten dollars a box. Wow. Not um, like um, like That's too pie much. Mixes. So you you add water to it to make pie filling okay and stuff like that and i got like 20 bag, bags of those oh no i mean like i got um one thing of ribbon that i could use i, I got a bunch of um crafty you know those little craft kits for kids uh-huh with the beads and stuff like that and felt i got a few of those but you know, it's not something that I use. So I gave I gave some of that to my mom. I got a couple of boxes, and yeah, they were duds. This is when they were five dollars. So mm -hmm. I got um, one was full of agendas from like 2020, and it was 2021. So I mean, what are you gonna do with that? <laughs> <laughs> you know. True. And uh, another time. It was um, all kinds of Valentine stuff, which you think, wow, cool, Valentine. And there was all these hearts and these, um, these like books, booklets, like these small books, you know. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I still have that stuff. I didn't do anything with it. And I, I don't have the heart to throw it out because, I mean, it's still good. So what's it going to do, sit in my closet for another two years? <laughs> You know, no, I, I spent ten dollars a box this time, and both boxes were like that. Yeah, so I'm like, no, that's enough for me. It's just I, I the thrill. All, these ladies, all these ladies getting their boxes and stuff, and one yeah. lady got a bunch of fabric. Yeah, Nancy, where did you get that? Th this wood piece, this one right here, a good old Dollar Tree. It's in the garden section, not the regular craft section. They I have a bunch of new stuff in the garden section that ha for, for wood. I think Monique is behind. Press this the live button. Is. Press the live button, Monique. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a few minutes behind. Tinkerbella says, I'm going through all my stuff and what I don't keep, I'm donating. Yeah. That's what I did. Like I said, I donated a bunch of the Halloween stuff to my sister's school. I need a bee picture. I did keep um the, the, um the, there was a a plaster those little um chalkware plaster things. Oops. I kept one of the 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 cats, and um my son kept the, uh, a skull. I don't know why, because I don't like skulls, but he wanted it so. But I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be painting the cat something different to make it look not like a skull. I want to make him look like a pretty cat because it, it doesn't look too bad. If, I'm gonna go get it real quick. I'm gonna print a picture of a bee, a small one, and then I'm gonna try and scroll it if I can. Oh, okay. Sorry, I can't get to it. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I will have to move some stuff around. 
Well, I can probably get my, my tall son to get it. JJ! <laughs> Poor JJ. He's always got to do, do everything. Hey. If 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 he wants to be tall, he's gotta he's gotta use it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. On this bookshelf right here, the corner over there by Daddy's by Daddy's um recliner. Go get the cat. Cat. Yeah, you'll see it. Oh, the oh pumpkin. Yeah, the pumpkin cat. Let me see what. I think it's this one here. Oh my. Sarah, they have these too in that same section. <laughs> this one and. <laughs> hey, look, this is this is the cat I got. Oh, cute. Isn't it cute? Yeah. So is I'm it a pumpkin? Pay, it's a pumpkin. Oh, neat. So I'm going to see what I can do with, with him. You can put him back, Jay. He's like, what? Jay. My game. You're interrupting me, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> put it back, please. Thank you. It's heavy, too. We thought that it was some good stuff in there when, when we grabbed the boxes. Yeah. And it was just that. Aw. It's like, oh, okay. And this is the other one that they had over there. Oh, nice. I had some flowers and um, butterflies. Yeah. Leaves. Cool. So I, thought, I only got right one back. of these. I'll be right back. What, Jay? Yeah, there's a phone I can hear from the back. Will you be quiet? It doesn't leave till 7 something. But you you know that 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 fear of missing out, uh, I don't have that anymore. <laughs> when it comes to those boxes, um, th th these items, like I said, they're they're in the garden section where they have the pots. Okay, good. And the garden stuff, that's where I found them, and I didn't find them. My husband did. We were walking by because I usually don't stop in, in that section because I'm like, ah, I don't need no pots or anything like that, or or you know floral wire or stuff like that. And he goes, did you see those wood things? And I go, what wood things? And and, and the beehive is, a, I mean, yeah, the beehive is the one I, f I saw first, and then I saw the little cutouts. Crafting on the fly, literally. <laughs> Get it? Yes. Okay. First, I just have to use the carbon paper quickly. Yeah, usually, I, 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 when, when anybody is, is finding stuff, I never find them in my store. This is the first time I've seen something that no one has shown. Okay, so I got all the yellow painted. Uh, maybe I'll do the wings separate, or I may, I may have to do a second coat on the butterfly. I mean, butterfly. Listen to me. This is not a butterfly, Nancy. You got they butterfly on the brain. Butterfly. There was some cute butterflies in that uh, the wood box with all the shapes. Yes. So I'll be doing something um springtime with that. I was supposed, supposed, supposed to pick up some more brushes and I forgot. Because I have I have like 30 of these little itty bitty things, right? But the, the bigger ones, I don't have. This is the only one I have. So I have to I have to wash it every time. Wash right. brushes? What a concept. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I have, I have, I have to wash them now because my son, I, I have him, him wash them. But he he never um gets all the paint off of it completely. So when I go to use them, they're hard as a rock. 
So there, I put the pattern on the wood now. Sarah says, I'm definitely going to be looking. We're about to eat. If y'all still on, I will come back on. You're welcome to come back on, Sarah. Um, her. We're 47 minutes in. Okay. We're doing good. What, what time? Like, do you have a time limit? I try to do about two hours or, or one time it was two and a half, but and I, I want to be able to um, show the finished project before I go off. Yeah. That's why on, on last Monday, I did one stool before I got off. So that was the stool at least, at least before I got off. Be noisy for a minute. Okay. Let's see. Where am I gonna put holes? Uh, here. Here. Wow, we got twelve people watching. Thank you, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying. Um, Once I get this painted, we'll start building. Should I cut out the, the um, wings or like the inside of the wings? Let me see. Mm. Or leave them. I'm going to cut out where the holes are. Uh huh. Yeah. Can I could. On the, the outside edge. No, where the holes are, I'm going to cut all that middle part. I understand that part. I'm oh, okay. then, then you're going to cut the outline? Yeah, the, the outline. Building. Or I could cut as well the B wings. How are you going to, you going to um, back that up, back that up with, with some wood or something? Yeah, yeah. It'll have a backer. I feel like the wings should be separate. Like a separate layer? Yeah. Yeah. Miss Tinkerbella wants to know what what's that machine you are using? Oh, this is called a scroller's drill. And basically it's a little drill that I can drill holes in the wood so that when I use the scroll saw, I can insert the blade in the middle of the wood and then scroll out or cut out all of the wood in the in the middle. So, but I need to use a drill and instead of grabbing a, like a big drill to do it, I can use this, a scroller's drill. And I received this from Midnight Scroller who um, is sponsored by Seiko. And uh, she, she actually sent me this, which was really nice. And she is also a part of Harneo Media. <laughs> She's actually one of the partners now. That's right. For all your website needs. And they sponsor me too. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, uh, okay, let me see. Jay has me doing homework for Sunday. So I'm, I'm meeting up with her on Instagram. On, Oh yeah. About my website, she has me do homework. Uh -huh. I told her no one told me I had to do homework. <laughs> Let me, uh -huh. That was funny. What kind of homework? Like About, pictures um, and stuff. Huh? Pictures Web and stuff? Website stuff. Oh. Like she, she said, um, what inspires me, what colors I like, what fonts I like, so we can work on my website. Oh, nice. 
how I want it. That it would be. Tracy! Bye, Jason. How are you doing, Miss Tracy? I was going to see if Miss Denise came on because I, I sent her a package. Oh, you did? Yeah. Cool. She's kind of like that. Did she get it yet? I want to see if she got it. Okay. Okay. The snow? The snow? Why is it snow? Okay. Glasses. Very nice, Robin. Thanks, Monique. Um, yeah, I did two coats of the yellow on the B. I'm gonna let that dry, then put the the black part parts of it. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go paint the wings. So I I need to mute actually because if I don't, you're gonna hear the the um, vacuum that okay. I have attached to my um, scroll saw to take away the dust and all that. No problem. I will be muting. I'm looking for a brush to paint the wings with. Okay, this is one. Like I said, I don't have a lot of big brushes. So we're going to do it with this one. Hello, Nancy Smith. Fellow Nancy. I'll probably do some shading around the edge so you can see that like it, like it has, you know, the top wing and the bottom wing. So we'll do that after. No, actually, probably do it while it's still wet so that way it blends a little better. There we go. And I'm using chalk paint and chalk paint most of the time with one coat, you, you, get, you get what you need. So let me do this wing over here, then we'll go back and do the shading. Hello, Mr. Oh, what? I don't know what happened to her camera. Robin, your camera did something weird. Did it fall or did it, did it get disconnected? Oh, well, hello, Jerry. Hello, Chris. I'm painting a bee right now. Making a little, this is going to be a, the door to a little beehive um, shelf unit that I'm building with some Jenga blocks and some wood. And this is the cover that I'm going to be attaching with some magnets, like a door. I think Robin is, um, and then I'm mixing some black and white over here because I want to do, I want to do some shading, but I want it to, to be more white than black. There we go. Let's get in. We could do some shading under the, to make, make it look like it has a second set of wings on top of the, the first one. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. There we go. Thank God. <laughs> I don't want to lose my camera. I okay. like where you where did you go? I don't know what happened. I turned around and it was like weird. But anyways, here's the first part. 
Thanks, Jerry. Hi, Chris. <laughs> I was painting. I didn't even realize it. Jerry's the one that says, what happened to her? <laughs> I need to, to blend this line a little bit more. Don't want it to. There we go. Now we're going to get another itty bitty brush. Let's see. What which brush? I have some little little brushes in my okay. You ever have have a project that you need a certain brush and you can't find it? <laughs> Does the bee start with a black head or yellow head? Does the bee have the, the black on top? It is amazing to make t-shirts. I, I think I've made probably a couple hundred shirts since I've, I've gotten the, the cricket. The name of the yellow that I am using is Waverly Maze. It's a nice yellow. No one's answering me. Is the, the head of the bee black? Or the head of the bee yellow. So it's yellow. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Or is it that's the part that's black? I don't know. Get some of that paint off the edge. I just want it on the tip. And Mr. Jerry, what are you doing buying more stuff? I thought you were trying to, to, to streamline your shop. You, more stuff means more more things messing up crowding up your shop. Isn't it? Or is that what you want? More toys. I, you know what? I'll probably be doing the same thing. Because even though I have a cricket, it's yellow. Okay. Thank you, Monique. I have a cricket, but I want a cricket joy. Because it's... it's like comp more compact and it's easier to, to put on my desk so I don't have to not that I have to walk far away for, to get to my cricket it's just especially when I'm doing stuff for, for my little mini um, miniature stuff using a 12 by 12 mat on a, on a little item that is not even two inches seems a, a little excessive <laughs> Chris wants to know what you're feeding that woodpecker, Robin. <laughs> it does look like a woodpecker. I've had this um little bee um cut out I think for a month now. It's been sitting in my shelves like what do I do with it? Yeah, when when I said that that I was going to do a bee themed live, 
I brought it down and didn't know, still didn't know what to do with it. Then I saw Robin's little video with her little, um, not little video, her little book, her little, how do you call it, shelf thing that she made for her little succulents. I go, I could make this since I don't have a scroll saw to, to make a, fu a fancy door like her. I have this cut out already, so you don't have a scroll saw. Dollar Tree might have something that you can use. For your door, like I have here. So I'm just trying to paint my little stripes on here. <laughs> Jerry says it eats Baltic birch, it's a fancy woodpecker. How's my bee coming? Be coming, haha. <laughs> Sorry. Trying to give it a little bit of more roundness here. I don't want him to look too flat. Trying to give, give, oops, give it a little shape. Oh, that's not good. Got a little off there. Yes, that's a scroll saw, which is it's on Nancy's wish list. Well, a magnifier is on my wish list. I'm using just a magnifying glass that I got at Dollarama, but I need a real one. I got I got one when when, I, when, I, when I'm crocheting, especially when I'm crocheting something small. Yeah. Or black. I have one. It's on a stand. That it, it, it's lighted up. Carmen's here. Hey, Carmen. Hey, Carmen. Hugs. Okay. Oh, this is like getting there. Slowly, very, very, very slowly. Yeah. Chris asked, "What? What are you? What were you feeding your woodpecker?" What? <laughs> Your your saw when you were sawing it looked like a woodpecker was 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 picking at a piece of wood. Oh. And Jerry said it was Baltic birch is a fancy woodpecker. <laughs> I don't know what kind of wood that is. It's um, I got a, a Dollarama or Dollar Tree. I'm not sure. Hey, Kathleen's here. Or Mary. Yeah. Hi, Mary. I think she likes being called Mary now. She said Kathleen's her middle name. But I'm so used to calling her Kathleen. Me too. <laughs> I just call her Mary Kay. Yeah. So it covers the Kathleen part too. <laughs> what? Oh, I almost forgot. I have to go on an emergency call for work. I was about to go to the shop. What? I don't want to hear that. What emergency call? Can't they wait till Monday? How long is this call going to take? <laughs> Don't they know you're, 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 you're supporting your, your fellow YouTubers? Yeah. 
okay. it shouldn't be bothering you, especially at this time of day, night on a Friday. Now, uh, do I have anything yellow? I don't think so. Wait, yellow uh, paint, yellow paint. Um, oh no! What? <laughs> I pulled off the antenna. Oh, you scared me. I thought someone mentioned something. What? <laughs> I thought someone commented something bad. Oh no. <laughs> I'm like, I wasn't paying attention. No, worse. <laughs> you lost your antenna. Okay. Now you can't get reception. Wait. Oh, I don't want to open the glue again. So what can I do? Um no open the glue <laughs> um hold on a second i'm gonna mute i'll be right back for a sec real quick okay i'm sad okay wait it's <laughs> faulty i know i don't want you to go on your emergency thing Wait, is it a an orange juice emergency? Yeah, you keep telling me to buy super glue and I keep forgetting. It's okay, I've got this other glue I can use. Uh, okay, yeah, it's there. Okay. Kathleen's on the right track. <laughs> I'm meeting in 10 minutes, then I'm running. No, I got to look at the computer running the price sign. What? I'm back. What did I miss? I got some uh, other paper over here. Hmm? There, I, I fixed the antenna. Well, there you go. Okay, now what should I put back there? Oh, you know what I could put? Tissue paper. Wonder. Okay, let me see. I need to put the top back on this. Annabelle's here. Hi, Annabelle. Hello, Annabelle. And I think she's she's a little behind too. You need to to, to refresh. You need to refresh, Annabelle. Because we're, we're, we're past the, the, the question. The refresh maybe? or hit the live button. No, tissue paper. Oh. I'm, do, I'm adding some shade behind the leg here. So they'll get this. They're separated from the body. <laughs> With the black, it looks the same. Yes, you did, Jerry. Yes, you did. Okay. Um, oh, I like this color better. I'm, gonna use this color. I'm, gonna use this I'm adding some gray right around the edge here. I don't know if you can tell. He is going. Annabelle is going to Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. That's lucky. A double, that's a double um whammy there what you're getting we want to know oh that came out cute thanks you have to rely on dollar tree for my bees <laughs> well i can't I, get mine yet i got some bees um from panda hall mm -hmm. uh, i mean bb craft yeah, I got some bees from BB Craft, but they're really, really small. Oh, well, I I have bees. I'll, I'll probably be using some today. Oh, it's stuck. Uh oh, come on. Release the drawer. Come on. There you go. Ah. Oh well. Okay, hang on. I have all kinds of 
different size of these and ladybugs. And and I had these that I that I ordered. Um, they're actually ladybugs, but uh -huh. um, the paint job was so I painted them white. But I have um these little bees. I noticed that um some dollar trees have these little wood bees now. Oh, they I do. I got these at um at um on Amazon. Yeah, they have the, the ladybugs and the wood bees. Oh, cool. I saw I saw them um a few weeks ago. They had them on an end cap. So and did you if I, did you if buy I any? Them, so too bad I don't need them because I already have a whole bunch. Yeah. I haven't been to Dollar Tree in ages. But one of my friends, Shannon's Crafty DIY, she goes there like every week. And then she mm -hmm. posts things that she saw there. And yeah. I'm like, and then and if there's something that I like, I'm just like, yep, yeah, I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> well, half that stuff I can feel like it can make. Well, I, I see it this way. If 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 it costs me more than a dollar twenty five to make, I buy it. Yeah. Or, or like if I had a, a scroll saw, I could probably do something like this, right? But to, for me to hand cut it, yeah, it, it's just worth it to to buy it. Because mm -hmm. if I had to hand cut it, then no, that's too much work. Okay, I think I have the the door of my little container. Can you see? There we go. That's my bees painted. I think I need to, to blend this more in. Jerry says, I could laser that thing now. You should see him. He's lasering everything. I know. I saw I, I saw his, um, his stuff on, on um, Facebook and Instagram. And where, where he drove almost six hours to get another laser. Yeah. I'm sure Steve is saying, I can see and see that. Yeah. <laughs> it probably was see and see because you see the, the wood, the, or it was laser cut. Steve is saying, I can it see and the, see that, the, but the I won't. <laughs> it has the wood burn edges. Yeah. Right. There we go. I blended the gray more so it doesn't stand out too much. I know I could, I, I, but but um, I don't have the scroll saw. But if and I know if I had a scroll saw, I could do several at a time. So I'm gonna put go in and clean up my brushes real quick, and then we start assembling. I'm still here. I'm just at my at my sink washing my brushes. Um, I don't think I need to use them again. No, I paint all over me. Set up to do the Lord <laughs> of the Rings Middle Earth map tonight. Food better hurry. I need to go to that job before I forget again. Why do you have to go? No, I don't want you to go. <laughs> it must not be an emergency. He's still um he, he's still talking. Maybe he's teasing me. Oh, 
Okay. I'm gonna move all my little pieces here so I can get this paint out of the way. I'm liking this parchment paper idea. Clean up is quick. Yeah, for sure. Ta-da. Mr. Mike, hello. Welcome. Hi, Mike. We're going to work on, on on the assembly now. Let me see. No one's there. there. We now we're going to put the wa the walls. I'm going to have to f figure this out because not all the sides are the same. And I may have to cut some pieces off a little bit, but we'll see what needs to be trimmed off and not trimmed off. Stand right there. Thank you. Do I do it on the outside? No, if I do it on the outside, the doors won't work anymore. Because I didn't cut. I cut the. See, the outside is good. But then this won't work. So you don't have to go? He said emergency. Emergency. The price did not change on the sign, and the manager did not want to walk out to the sign to change them. Oh, so they call you? <laughs> That's not really. They... That's not nice. So okay. we're going to see how we're going to do this. I like my bee. This thing. Uh, oh, that came oh, out cute. That's not as bad. It's not terrible. Are you going to have a backing on that? Um, er, I wasn't planning on it. Because <laughs> if, if you do the, the backing on it, it'll, it'll, it'll keep the shape better. Oh, yeah. Where did I put that envelope? I think they're talking about you. That, um, Jerry says, beautiful. Yay! <laughs> and Mike says, nice bee. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Okay, yeah, let's do that. What Nancy said. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I was going to use a piece of cardboard on this one, but I thought that it needed something more substantial to, to, to make it work the way I want it to work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause I want to make some things that are website worthy now <laughs> yeah i know what you mean i need to i need to start putting more stuff on my website i have a few what, what i did the, the stuff that um that i had on my etsy yeah i've been, I've been moving it over to the website little by little because since i already have photos of those hey look what chris said I've not seen Beecher in a long time. What's Beecher? <laughs> hmm. See, I'm gonna working. I'm gonna cut this piece off right. This piece here, it's gonna be a, a, the middle shelf like this, and then this will go on top like this. <laughs> oh, that is looking cute. I like the yellow in the background. You got you guys you guys pick the right color. I'm, er, I'm gonna have to go soon, Nancy. Huh? I have to go soon. No problem. My uh my dinner's ready. Like I tell everybody you leave when you need to leave. I'm not here holding you hostage. Okay. 
And you have to stay as long as I am. <laughs> this is how it's going to look. What I've got to fix the back. Because I didn't cut it right. But whatever. We'll just pretend it fits, okay? And there's the B. Oh, that's sort of cool. And what you going to put inside? Or I don't know. I want to make this bigger. I want to make it bigger and I want to make some kind of shelf. Okay. And then I just have the B like on the side or something. I don't know yet. It was just, I was just fooling around, you know. Hey, that, that's that's where our ideas come. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm popping one of these, these off on the side. So that way it fits in here better. Okay, I'm going to go, and but I'll be in the chat. No problem. Thank you. So thanks for having me. And bye, everyone. Adios. And there was, there was one. Wow, 17 of you guys watching. Thank you. Again, I have Robin's channel linked down below if you want to go check her channel out. And um. I got the the idea for the for the cutout shelf from her channel. She made one herself, a, a different pattern, different idea, but it's it's the same. Uh, how can you say same style? I don't know. Uh, so I'm gonna pop another one off of here. So I did I did. Oh gosh, that's that's on their heart. Oh gosh, that's that one's on their heart too. Next. Ah. Wood glue is real good, guys. <laughs> what is the back made of background? This piece right here is a piece of plywood that I cut down to sh the same sh shape as this. So when I put this on top, it will be it will do that. If that's what you what you're talking about, back mate background i guess and then i covered it with some scrapbook paper that i asked the the audience i asked the audience which which to choose and they i think they choose choose or they chose a cool option because i had a, a more floral background to use but i think the yellow will, will, will blend nicer and it won't take away from the butterfly. I mean, I keep on saying butterfly. It's not a butterfly, it's a bee. Maybe float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Is that what I'm thinking of? Let's see, this one here, I may have to, yep, cut another piece off. God, they stick. Ow, I cut one too many off. I gotta put one back on. I guess I guess we'll use this one. right there. Let that sit for a few seconds while I try to pop the edge of this one. And I glued this about an hour ago. So there. Whew. I didn't think that was going to come off. So this is, I'm using super glue, wood glue that when you get a Dollar Tree. And The, the thing about the stronghold and, and quick hold, whatever, with the hot glue, I do not like because sometimes you get gaps from the, the hot glue and you don't, you don't get a, a good, you just don't get a good one, what you going to call it, in my opinion, okay? This is going to be a shelf, um, um, Tracy. I'm going to cut this down to put a shelf right here, right? And then this is going to have magnets on it to go like this. So you can see some knickknacks behind it. Just like that. And just hang on the wall. Or if it's flat enough, you can hang on, uh, you set it on a table. So once um, this dries up, then we'll do the little shelf. I 
I just wanted to do something different besides a, a sign with with the with the with the B. Because anybody can do a sign. Not to say that the signs are bad. I just wanted to do something different. And I wanted to use the, my tumbling box. Because you know me and tumbling blocks. Okay. This is on. Now we're going to put this on top. Yes, these are these are this this is a, a, a video I did um last year on bees. And these are different flowers that um bees like with their 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 names. So it's sort of a, a little wall hanging and it's also educational. And these little um hexagons I got from Michaels. And they're 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 um raised up on Jenga blocks, so each one it's a different layer, different height. I'll link this um, video down below after the live. And it has a, a couple other um, bee themed DIYs. So this, I'm going to stand it up. Okay. So it's going to look like this. And like I said, it's going to, oops. We have to wait till it dries, Nancy, before you start moving it around. So let's put this back up. While this is drying, we're going to go on to the next project real quick. And then by the time we finish that project, this is ready to be magnetized. So that's going to go like that. But I'm going to put a, a shelf in the middle here. So we're going to cut the shelf in the middle. I'm not sure. Actually, th these guys are, are not even, so we'll see how that works. Let's see. Let's t do it here first. What I'm going to do is put this on top and make sure that these guys are standing up straight where they meet this guy here. So push this in a little bit like that. That way it doesn't look two off. There we go. So we're going to stick that to the side over there while we cut this guy. And we're using this metal ruler and and also I'll be adding some more of these bees onto the shelf too. I think I think it would have been too busy, Robin. But I'll I'll put it up. Hold on, let me let me find it. See, it would have it would have been this one here. See, I think it would have been too busy. Get it busy. I like the yellow. Well, it, dep it depends on, on the look that you were going going for. If you, if you wanted, you know, the flowers to stand out, but I wanted the beat to stand out. Um, let me move this real quick because I'm looking for my knife, my blade. There it is. It's where it's supposed to be with, uh, my, with my other cutting utensils. Imagine that. And this is a piece of basswood that I bought to make my miniatures, the library. And I had a bunch of pieces left, and this is a piece of that. Okay. Let's see if this fits. Thank you.
Oh, dang it. Nancy didn't measure twice. Oh, goodness. You know what I'm going to do? Get this piece of paper out of the way because it's bothering me. I'm going to improvise here. Got glue everywhere. Go down a little bit. It doesn't have to be right there at the at the, at the joint, right? It can go like right there. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to go grab the paintbrush and paint this real quick. If I'm not mistaken, I used the same yellow on this one here. So it, it's it's a coordinating set. Oh, no, Tracy. Oh, hello, Constance. I didn't see you come in. Have you been here long? I do not know yet, Robin. Because I believe, well, actually, since I put the shelf down, I could put one of my little signs in there, but that's, that's I think it's too big. I, w I will have to, to, to make some things to put into it. That could be another video. Let's make the accessories. I'm just concentrating on my painting here. Sorry, guys. Those are you that like bead decor. What what do you like about the bead decor that or what what attracts you to, to bead decor? That's what I'm trying to say. What attracts you to be to be the core? I like the colors. I know we, we probably put the, the, the black and yellow, you know, more prominent than they actually are in, in real life. I think I think the, the combination looks cool. Okay, this is done. Let's put that to the side here. Stay right there. Is that Jay talking? Yes, it is. I wonder if, if if they can hear it too. Do you hear someone mumbling in the background, guys? Because that's my son talking <laughs> from his bedroom. So this is like this, right? If I do it like that, 
No, the, the way I had it is fine, Nancy. Stop make stop making things up. Let's add some more blue at here at the edge. Where it's gonna touch. What are you guys saying no to? I'm sorry. I asked a question, but I didn't I don't think I asked the yes or no answer kind of question. Did I? Oh, you know what I forgot? Who in the back? You guys didn't remind me that I needed to put glue on the back. Shame on you. Shame, shame, shame. You guys are fired. I need a, a fresh wipe. This one's dry. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> With the lag, it's hard, it's hard to figure out what you guys are answering. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let me stand this up to make sure the shelf is straight. No, it's not. It's brick. Still not straight. Well, that's better. What do, you th what do you guys think? So, like I said, we're going to see this, this, with this one's still moving. So, I need to add more glue down here and leave that alone. I think moving it around a lot is, and I probably need to do a little. Oh, maybe one of these. One of these matchsticks right here in the corner. Yep, that'll work. Because it's not touching there. I don't know if you can see this piece here. See how it's not touching this? So I'm just going to get one of these matchsticks and slide it in there. There we go. And I should have cut it before I put it on. Let's take it back off. And cut the little tip off here. Put it back in. There we go. Anybody else needs extra help? Right down here, these guys. Get another one. I'm just sliding it. If I if I if I see I didn't plan this, I just knew more or less what I was I wanted to do. If I had planned this, I would have cut these at the right angle. Not the not a right angle, but the the angle where where the two pieces will meet nicely. If I, if I were to make this again, I would do that. And I think it's twenty two and a half degrees or something like that to get these to to line up. I think that's what I had to do with my um. Let me put one up here too. With my carousel. That I'd made last year, it was 22 and a half degrees for each angle. Right here. And this is just this little piece of um, matchstick is um, connecting the two sides together right there in the corner, so it doesn't fly apart. Okay. Let, let that sit. Make sure everything is still lining up. Yep. Oh. 
I'm going to do a quick card while this guy is drying, and then we'll glue on the magnets. Okie dokie, okie dokie. I should clean my hands before I touch the... Let me clean my hands real quick before I touch the card. Um, I have black paper I'm going to be using and I don't want my paint to be all over it. And I saw something while in the camera right here, all this glue sticking out here. I'm going to wipe that off. We don't want that. And I guess after the fact, because I didn't I only put paper on the on the base, I'm gonna have to paint that little edge yellow. But that, that'll be after the fact because it's still wet. I don't want to mess with it just yet. So what I'm doing here, I already got all the pieces set, set up so you don't have to watch me cut it or move it around or anything. I'll just slide that well over. Okay, I use this die to cut all these little pieces so that it makes very delicate makes that so we're going to make a card with that and it also makes these little bees okay so i found that card i was looking for the other day the cheat sheet so now i have it in the secure spot that I can see it all the time. So we're going to use a cut a yellow card base. This is an A2 size which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So you would cut a piece of paper that's eight, um, eight and a half by five and a half and then when you fold it's four and a quarter. Okay the mat I'm using I'm doing it with uh, a quarter quarter inch mat size which so you cut the paper at four by five and a quarter, this piece here, and that'll go right on top of here, like that. So you have a quarter inch all the way around. So let's go get some. All right, go, go, go. Oh, oh, timber. I'm rotating and everything's falling apart. Hello again, Sarah. We're waiting for the, the shelf to dry. So I'm making a, a quick card, also be themed. You know what? You know what? You know what? I shouldn't do that yet. Okay, we're going to put this to the side let that dry. I think I have another piece. Yeah, I have another piece. I'm going to build the card first because some, some of it is going to go off. And so I might have to cut it out like this. I might have to cut those pieces out. And on the base, it's going to be hard. So I'm doing this, right? Going to be putting that on the card more, somewhere like that. And then I'm using this stamp. This is from MayMayMadeIt.com. She also has a channel. She like paper crafting, she does a lot of cool stuff. And she has stamps that you can buy that she's made. And I'm going to use also the from the dies because it has the different hexagons. I cut a different a few different sizes. But I'm, i I want to use this one here. I'm gonna tell you what it says. It says, believe, for with God nothing be impossible. Luke 137. You can't see that. I'm using this one right here. And who knows, I may, I may use some of the bees. But for the, for the sentiment, so I'm going to get one of the hexagons that this fits, which is, that one's a good size. Whoops. So I'm going to stamp that on there. 
and I don't know if you can tell the hexagon um, when it cuts it cuts a little a little stitching around the edge there so that one got poked somehow but I'm not using that one so I still got paint on me So let's do the stamping first and then we'll glue this guy. This one's going to be a little harder because it's a small piece. But as long as you use the magnets, you'll be, you should be fine. I'm going to do it in the middle here. I should stay there and then put this in the middle here and make sure that, that it's facing the right direction. Okay. down and pick it up and I didn't take the black ink out hold on guys okay Liz Now we're going to stamp. I think it came out a little crooked, but hey. We's hmm. human, right? It got moved. Let's go do another one. Mm -hmm. Gotta be careful. Oh, do I have another one of this size? I don't think I have another one of this size. I'm gonna have to be a little bit bigger. I didn't want to be bigger. I'm gonna have to be bigger because I don't have one of the medium. I have small, extra small. Okay, medium. Well, we're going to do this one here, which means I have to clean this off so I can do it again. That was quick, Liz. Well, you said be back soon. That is soon, right? I'm making a, a bee theme card, Sarah. Well, my, my bookshelf. Um, I just noticed this. Does the die have that dot? I think the die has the dot. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're going to put that to the top. We'll, we'll probably cover it up with a B or something. What I'm talking about, see right here on top? There's a little die, so a, a little hole, but the, they're, they both have it. So maybe the die has it. I'll just cover it with a B. Let's try this one more time. And be careful this time, Nancy. This way. Yeah. 
It's going to look cute, guys. Just wait. It will. Oh, good goodness gracious. Hold on. The stamp is so sticky. Let me put the magnets in more. Let's see if the stamp is in the right spot now. Okay. Ha ha, Robin. You believe? Do you believe you can fly? Oh, that's upside down. You believe you can touch the sky? Oh, that's upside down. What am I doing? Every night and day. Oh, my son set my son. My my husband is serenading you guys. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I'm not gonna try to um do a second stamp because I don't want to mess it up and I don't have any more of those little cutouts that size, so we're going to go with I, it. I believe I'm gonna get my platinum. Platinum where? A platinum record. You got a platinum record coming? I'm, I'm ready for my deal. Where, where's where's my signing bonus? Somebody call RCA. Let him know. Robin says we hear him. Earl. We hear. We see. We know. What we believe. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get some. Let me. Let me click the. Click this back where it was so we can um click it back where it was. Get it out of the way. Get it out of the way, Nancy. Move it along, Nancy. Move it along. Back to work, girl. Hello, Mr. Neelan. Neelan, tell her to snap to it. Liz says hello, Earl. Hi, Liz. Oh, Liz, I'm thinking about Boston cream pie. Why? It's so good. <laughs> well, maybe a lemon wedge on top of its whipped cream. Are you expecting them to get you some? I wouldn't dare to ask. This is a trick I, 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 asked. I think I also saw this on, on, um, May May's channel. When you have a bunch of intricate small pieces like this, to use a little dauber to add glue to it. So let me close this up before I get ink all over my card like I just did. Look. Good job, girl. But guess what? I have a backup. Ha ha. I cut two of everything just in case. You ex I expect Nancy not, not to, to, to. What is what? What's what? Oh, um, Chris says he's making Ghirardelli brownies. What? That sounds good. And Liz says, I'm on a diet. I have a wedding next month. But pie sounds good. Yes, it does. Congratulations on the wedding. I'm using this acrylic block, and I'm using this. See here? It come over here and dab, 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 dab. That way you get more of these pieces glued down because it's such a small area to put your glue on. We, sh we should have took pictures of our, our, our uh, hot luck. Don't we, uh, I think we have some. Our pot, pot lip dishes? Not, not um, individually, but we have some of the, of the, of the table. Ta-da. Now we get this one here. Get some more glue. And 
Chris says the Ghirardelli brownies are the best brownies by far. I'm not going to mention names, but somebody tried to steal my pecan pie at our wedding, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> you know who that was? I don't know who that was. It was one of Nancy's relatives trying to take our pecan Your pie. Yeah, and, and, instead of instead of a groom's cake, we had a groom's pie. He wanted a pecan pie. Her, her family member tried to run off with it. I don't recall that. I don't remember much of what what was happening that day. I, said, I was like, oh, I said, I'm nervous. I said, wait a minute, the pie is in this picture, but not in this picture, and I don't remember eating it. Where did it go? Here we go. You can use the whole um, cutout if you want, but I just wanted the parts of the cutout. Okay, so Nancy, what happened to that pie? I don't know what happened to that pie. Hold on. It got a little out of, out of whack there. Then somebody tried to take my shepherd pie. Nancy, you know anything about that? Actually, the shepherd pie was never cooked, so we brought it home, remember? Yeah, but somebody, somebody was like, you know, putting it to the side. Because they wanted to take it home with them? Is that what you're trying to say? I think so. Oh, I need some more glue on that piece there. So I'm take, turning it on the back here and cutting the excess off. D don't throw these pieces away. You might be able to use it on another card. You should ask the audience. What? Has anyone been to a good potluck with me? Actually, has anybody been to a potluck wedding? I thought it was great. We had all our, all our friends and family bring a dish for our wedding. There was quiche. There was banana pudding. There was a little bit of everything. There was shepherd's and, and pie. What, that, that, that counter was what? 15 feet long? It was full. It was full of food. And it was about th three, three feet deep. It may have been empanadas, right? Um, I don't recall. Um, for this here, I want this to stand out a little bit more. So we're going to go get some. Ta da! Where's my little thing? blueberry pie? Thing. Was there a blueberry pie? It should have been. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting the black soot. That sounds like a nasty um ink ink. Uh, the black soot um, distress ink. Because I want to give it some dimension around the little. And I'm just using it from the pad. It's, it's a small pad. Robin said that was a great idea, Nancy and Earl. Thank you, thank you. It was, and everybody had fun. And, oh. and, and some people that brought dishes also brought their recipes, and I have them in my, in my little box. So, okay, another question. If you went to a potluck, wedding what dish would you bring there you go if you went to a potluck wedding what kind of dish would you bring and chris says there is no such thing as a bad potluck uh -huh. oops ah uh, i messed it do? up what did you do nancy i'm i wasn't paying attention i was reading comments Oh, you got all into it, didn't you? I need to redo this, guys. Hold on. <sighs> Don't worry, I'll train her a little bit better. Uh, let's look at the mistake closer. Seriously, dude? Uh, where's it at? Get away. Where's it at, Nancy? Get, get the magnifying glass away. <laughs> Am I getting close? Stop it. <sighs> oh, it's over here. Right. Tracy, Tracy says she would. Oh, Chris says he wants empanadas. My mom makes Ooh. some awesome empanadas. Although I have to say she limits me. 
Like to two. <laughs> <laughs> I want to read the rest of. Stop! I haven't. I oh, haven't, I got a good angle. I haven't made a mistake there yet. Okay, so get is get away. Right here on this one. It's, it's oh, on that one. Is that that little red spot? It's a black spot. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. I want to read what people are bringing to the to the next potluck, honey. There it is. I found it. See, Nancy? Is that it? The little black spot? Yes. Isn't you don't that have, cool? You don't have to highlight it. Isn't that cool? Oh, look. This has a flashlight. Anyone have one of these? Mm. On it. I'm, I'm, I, I lost my, my ink pad now. Come on, Nancy. See, you come, you come around it and you, you talking just... about that little black one? Right no, there? That, me... that's this a, one? No, this is a different ink pad. What about this thumb one? It's a rectangle ink ink pad, dude. That's almost square. Did I put it away? It's almost square. Rectangle means almost square. Remember that, everyone. Not quite square. You know what? I'm, I'm just using this one. I, I, don't, I don't see it. Good idea, you see? We discover new things together. Read what everybody's bringing to the I have one of those magnifying glasses on my soul. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about the, 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 ooh, there we go. Ooh. Mike said he'll bring lasagna. I love lasagna. Chris wants empanadas. I want empanadas. Tracy's going to bring seafood, seafood salad. Ooh. Steve is bringing the tequila. Ah. <laughs> oh, now, now, Nancy, you have to sing the song. Chris said he has shrimp and... Nancy, you have to sing the song. He mentioned tequila. No. Put the lime on the what? Come on. That's not... Is that the, put, put the, the lime, lime in the, the coconut, coconut and shake it all Come around. <laughs> See, you're... you're, 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 you're. I let Robin knows that song. Put the lime in the coconut. Let's scroll down. I wanted to read everybody else's comments. Oh, come on. Stay with the present. You can't live in the past. I love one of those magnifying glasses on my saw. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Tracy. Yummy, yummy. Chicken empanadas. I heard so many delicious things. Um, my mom know. makes all kinds of empanadas. Chicken and em em empanadas. Oh, he wants enchiladas. That's different. Ooh, red velvet. We were going to go for a um, opera cake. But I think it was very expensive, wasn't it? Yeah. Our, our wedding cake was actually made by one of my moms from the school that I worked at when I was working at the school. It was it was great cake. Nancy almost killed me. The eyes in her face when I shoved cake in her face. <laughs> the, the glare in her eyes and I shoved cake in her face. And she tried to get me back, but guess what? <laughs> Chris says he brings... Uh, uh, eggplant and primer. Isn't that what um Ooh, that Mr. Good. Rocco brought to the? To I, the... I believe so. Yeah, we had someone bring the eggplant and parmesan. To I have the... a picture of me shoving cake in Nancy's face. I have to find it. Maybe I'll show everybody. You have a picture, don't you, Nancy? It's it's not readily available right now. Oh, readily available. She I have sounds... to go go into my pictures. She sounds too sophisticated. I, I'm not double 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 stamping it because um we're running low on time. Okay, I'm gonna use this guy instead. Of What's what that I was guy's doing. name? It's a dauber. It's a dauber. It looks like a bell. I was trying to. Can we call it a dobby bell? A bell that dobs. I think it, it actually got make it made it a, a better look. That one was too sharp. A dobby bell. I'll with show you no the bell. difference. There we go. That doesn't ring. What? I hope I'm not distracting you with my nonsense. Oh, eggplant is pretty good. You can fry it. You see, can this do is all the, kinds the, of things with This it. is Lasagna the one that I messed up on, right? You see the edges, how, how sharp it is, the black? And then this one I did with the dauber. It gives it a more um, smoky look, I guess. Eggplant sub. You guys are making me hungry. Why did you ask to, to, um, for that information? Now I'm hungry. Ah, uh, fried eggplant, especially on bread. Uh it's too healthy by itself. I'm using double-sided um, foam tape to raise up the little um, center beehive. I don't know. What do you think of Swiss cheese with eggplant? Egg, you know, eggplant parmesan on the on a nice roll. Yeah. 
with. Okay, now we're going to take this guy and stick him in the middle of the card. With some papaya, Tracy. Eggplant, papaya go pretty good together. Especially if you freeze your papaya and make a smoothie. Okay, let me get find my little bees that I had. I'm going to put them all over the card. Nancy, why don't you put all those bees on that card? Oh, thank you. I wouldn't have thought of that. Yeah, they're all different colors. Pretty. Should I do the color side or the, the yellow side? Ooh, pretty. Because this one is a little weird on the back. Papaya can grow all year long, though, too. Can you? Yeah, all year. Well, Florida. Tropical areas. The, the, the dye that I use cut these little bees out as well as the... the the beehive so i'm going to put glue on the back of those i'm cut i'm searching to see if i have more I, I don't know how many i cut and i also cut this a little i guess what would you call it flourish so what do you do chris you just take the seeds out of the eggplant or just plant the whole eggplant so i might do, add, add um a little flourish or something well, that looks nice i have two flourishes where the i just had the 3d ish the other flourish that was a good movie fried green tomatoes so what are we gonna do my papaya seeds just don't want to grow but i think i didn't dry them out that's probably what it was i just put it in dirt i told him to dry them out but he wanted to do them his way so i let him do his got way. upset with a bunch of flies <laughs> keep swarming around little pots of Seeds. Mm-hmm. Ooh, baked. Baked eggplant. Wife was, wants her brownie. See, he's 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 getting his his wife a brownie. What what are you getting me? A headache. See. Isn't that great? <laughs> Where, where's my treat? I, I, I gave you a slice of pizza. <laughs> but I want a, a, a something sweet. I'm not sweet enough for you. <laughs> right now you're a little sour. A little sweet and sour. Um, get my little bee. Did you get your bee already or what? Yeah, it's right there. Cute. What happened to the colorful one? Are you going to put the colorful one on there? Should I put the colorful one? I don't know. I'll put a colorful it one. It looks like you got a theme going there. So I, I, I probably want, I probably mess it up telling you put a colorful one on there, There's a colorful one. What do you think? Ooh, pretty. Do the colorful one? You can put a vote. Who wants a colorful bee? Oh, it's too late now. I already had, I already glued it. He, he he made some brownies, Robin. I think Chris made some brownies. Is Chris going to ask his wife for a small car? Is that why uh, he made brownies? A car? <laughs> he wants some fishing poles. What what is what does Chris want that he made his wife some brownies? Fishing poles. <laughs> well, what is it that you're gonna ask for? Oh, honey, the, you know I accidentally dinged your car. Here's brownie. <laughs> you're bad. Is that is that why you why you gave me a slice of pizza? You did something wrong? No, not yet. It's future. It's for the future. I'm I'm building up. Uh... No. <laughs> I don't I don't doubt you. Okay, I think that's it for the card now. We're going to cut these little pieces off. And then we're going to go finish the bookshelf. I mean, the, the shelf. Let's go put it. I, I didn't even notice that over there. Look at that. That's what I was doing. The, the drying was... I must be half blind. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the card is, is being made because... That's drying.
So instead of them just watching me sit here and do nothing, I decided to make a card. Oh, well, we went to Hobby Lobby the other day. We saw a Bob Ross toaster. Was it Bob Ross, right? Yes. And it actually toasted his face into the bread. <laughs> I mean, I like Bob Ross and all, but I don't need him on my, my toast. I'm like, uh, what would Bob Ross think? I don't, we didn't think he was like one of those guys that would, you know. There's my card, guys. There's the, the colorful bee. See, that was my idea. So what do you think? It, it, it adds a touch of class, that bee, doesn't it? I like it. I do, too. Yeah. Believe God with God. Believe for with God, nothing be impossible. be impossible. Oh, shall be. I didn't miss. I missed that one. Yeah. So now we're going to go finish this guy here. He should. He should be set up. Buzzing now. around any moment. Is it? See, it's <laughs> it's pretty solid. 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 Robin thinks uh, Jerry would have loved that Bob Ross toast. <laughs> well, they have my Hobby Lobby. What was Thank it? You, Tracy. Was it twenty five dollars or something for it, or thirty dollars? I'm sorry, I, I don't need Bob Ross that much. But she has the bobblehead. Yes, it's right there. You have another bobblehead too. No, I don't. No. No. Oh. You never got it for me. I was thinking about getting it, but I guess I just the did the, not. the the one from um Target. Oh, is that one? yeah. So I'm using magnets. I'm going to use the, the, the new ones I got from Timu because they're thinner. So I'm going to put two here, one here, one here, and then two on the top. Actually, hold Thank on. You, money. Actually, they're too big. I was, so I was, gonna, I was her inspiration. We're going to, we're going to do the smaller ones. So I'm going to. That was cool. <laughs> I'm 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 tr I'm trying to to um make up for 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 my Wednesday Wednesday debacle. Oh come on! Hey, said I hear you. Who you talk to? Oh, okay. <laughs> He's reading out loud, really loud. Okay, we're gonna put. I decided to go go to the smaller ones because. This is not white is, enough. Is that a, is that a Waverly chalk paint in the color maze? Ah, you're right, sunflower Sarah. She know she know her paint. She know her paint. She know about that. So we're gonna let that set. I'm gonna put one on the bottom and one on the top. I do have smaller magnets, but um, I think they'll be too small. I bought them to when I was making um, letters with um, soda cans. You could also like uh, drill holes through the magnets and put screws into the wood. Huh? Why would I want to do that? If you want extra, extra work. If I want extra work? <laughs> I don't need extra work. You want extra credit. No. The... I think one fell. That's fine. I got another one right here. I ain't going to hunt for that right now. I think it is going to glue to your finger. I think I see ants and there's no ants. There's my eyes. All the floaters. Uh -huh. There, we're going to let that sit for a second. Okay, okay. I was, I was going to show you the, the itty bitty magnets I have that I bought years ago. You guys can think I'm crazy. It, it, it comes in this little pole here. We don't have to think. No. <laughs> Can someone take him away, please? Like, Look how small this is. magnifying glass for that. <laughs> See how small they are? <laughs> I was doing doing some some metal um, cans with letters. I'll, I'll make some um, soon and show you guys. And I was using those with, for the magnets to put on the back. Of the other letters, so here we go. We're gonna put the the coordinating magnet on top to to make it easier to put on the other side, right? Uh huh. That that's that that trays metal. 
Now we're going to put some glue on top of this. Not too much because you don't want it to ooze on the side and get stuck. In between the magnets. You're so good. Thank I you, know. sir. That's, that's what I hear. I just bought this glue. Why, Is it empty already? I guess what what was I doing with the glue the other day? To be continued uh, tomorrow when we get more glue. No, it's coming out now. Maybe it dried. Why you know? Why you? It's gel, so it's it's probably taking a while to for it to come down. Here we go, guys. We're gonna stick this carefully on top. Yeah, stand it up so so you know that. Oops. That. It, that it gets there that is even and just press down um here that's not that's not heavy enough i could just start piling things on top of it no because now i don't want this to crack it's just it, it's, you want it's, a book? No, it just I just need to press it here for a few seconds and here over here. So can you do this one or these? Or the do these? Do those and I'll do these. Teamwork makes the dream work. And who said there is no me in team? <laughs> <laughs> There's no I in team. That's the same. <laughs> okay. Ready? No. I think it might need longer. You think? Okay. I made a garden butterflies out of soda can. I I make them too. I had a couple um on my wall over here, but I guess I gave them away or something. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. I think I'm, I might do do a um a video of doing the the letters and the butterfly out of soda cans. Well, that, that, it's that, it's be almost it. our anniversary. When it's March, right? In March, our fifth March. anniversary. Twenty second. Twenty fourth. Twenty fourth. Yes. Oh. In my mind, it was always the twenty second. So happy anniversary. <laughs> Are you, did you think this would be ready? Very shiny in the sunlight. Yeah, you can make uh, wind chimes with those too. That would be cool. Wind chime butterflies made out of made out of cans. Okay. That one came up. That one came up. Ta da! Yay! There you go, guys. Look. Because I was trying to figure out how to do a, um, a hinge because if you do it a hinge over here, it would be a weird angle, right? Yeah. So let's see. We can. I think this is too big. Yeah, it's too big. You probably could also make butterfly hinges. We we can or um what I'll do um on another video we'll make some little dec decorations for the for the beehives. Those little houses that I'm that I got. Is there anything else more that I have, honey, that we can stick in here? Oh I don't know. I don't know either. Oh look! I could put my I could put my thimbles in here. Look, I got fancy thimbles. Oh, how, how adorable! It's like little house and everything in there. Oh no! You you talk about a little house? Watch. This guy right here. Come on. There's another one of my of my thimbles. Look, it's a little church. Oh, and, and these are the people. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what, what other small thing we can put in here? Oh, I know, I know what. Hold on. I'll be right back, guys. Talk amongst yourselves. I got some little houses that I can put in there. And this says you did a great job. Let me see. I'm 
I don't hold it, Mick. Miniatures. I, I stole Nancy's chair. Um. <laughs> It was warm. Her butt kept it really warm. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm serious. I felt, I felt the warmth. I, I don't o only make miniatures. I also collect miniatures. They have all these little houses. It was like there was a heating pad. That thank, thank you, honey. Uh, let's take these guys out because these are these are probably good for the bottom because they're smaller shells. What about this one? Like put that one there. Okay. How like? like Put that one over here. Actually, I like I like I like this one. Oops. Uh oh, you broke D it. Don't break my little houses. Put that one there. Stop! One. Stop! You don't like that one? What about this little one? Little one? There. Like that. You can have like a e little house next to the big house. You can put your little houses in there. You got my thimbles at the bottom. I have a bunch. I have a bunch of little houses, guys. Look at this. That one. Yeah. That one's like. That that one looks out of place. Let me put this one. Does that one fit? Yeah, that one fits. How, 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 Let, cool. Let's see how it looks with the with the with the door on. Thank you, Sandra. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Here we go. Ready? Move this up a little bit so you can. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Well, it all started with your idea, Robin, from your, from your little um, shelf. That came out cute. And you can put a little um, hanger in the back to hang it, or you can sit it on the table like this. Mike said, it's a good job you got Earl there to help you, Nancy. Mike, I thought you were my friend. <laughs> Mike's a good guy. <laughs> Mike, I thought you were my friend. He's the one with all the good ideas. <laughs> so he, here's the, the card that we made today. That would be a nice little thank you gift to someone or something. And look, it, it goes with the... It's a, a whole ensemble. Oh, look. I think that's the one I saw before. Yeah, that's the one that was on the wall. <laughs> it's not the one I'm looking for. I was looking for the little bee, the little beehive I made. Oh, well, hold on a second. We ha we haven't finished it. Hold on. I said I was gonna add something to it. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Don't go away. Don't go away. We we got we got some we got some bees to add to this. Some little bees. I'm taking the little foam piece off. I don't really need it. It kind of, it kind of reminds me of your 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 slogan. Be was it? Be kind. Be brave. No. Be creative. Be creative. strong. Be brave. Oh, okay. <laughs> and be. Be 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 be. And create. Be <laughs> something with bees. <laughs> now I'm just adding some little bees everywhere here. Hold on. Because you can't you can't have a beehive. Oh, you want a honey jar? You can get a honey jar, bike. Where did I put them? Okay, who took my honey jars? I had some honey jars. Where are they? Oh, man. I just had some honey jars. I almost stole my honey jars. I'll find them, Mike. I have a couple honey jars. Aww. <laughs> Mike said no honey jar, and, and Robin says Earl is her honey. There's no rhyme or reason for my little bees, okay? But I, I, I thought they would look cute. Probably... A couple more and then we're done and and these little these these little houses are only portion of what I have a lady you got a tinker Bella I got me some ladybugs so we got we'll, we'll add a ladybug I'm here for the people We'll put one right here. 
Let's get. Let's go find a, a ladybug. Do we want a large ladybug or a baby ba ladybug? I'm gonna go to a lady ladybug. Ladybug. Where do I put her? Put her right there. Okay. Thank you, Sarah. I think they came out the, the exactly the way I imagined. I wasn't sure about the, the little box how it was gonna come out, but Thank you. It came out cute. Okay. Are these guys set up a little bit? Yeah. This one's still a little bit. That one's set. That one's a little. Okay. Welcome back, Jason. And here it goes again. Let me, let me bring it up closer so you guys can see. That move on my little houses. My favorite are, are these little um, red clay ones. Uh oh. I thought I thought the that was glued to the. But I have also some resin ones and all all kinds of little houses. I think I little a little peek at what's inside. Like I said, it, it opens up with some magnets. These little guys fell. Shame on them. If I wanted to, if, if I wanted to use this for my thimbles, I can do an, another shelf right up here because I have a, a bunch of little um, thimbles. So, and you see that the little pieces of wood that, that I put to um, reinforce those edges. And these magnets are strong. And there's the, the, the bee and the little ladybug for good luck, as Tinkerbella said. There, and this drop, careful. Ta-da. Let's go back up. Ugh. I forgot squeak alert. There we go. So I had this hang. It hangs on my wall right now. But I will be putting this on my in my shop soon. It's a big piece, so it's not it's gonna probably be pricey on shipping. But I think it's worth it. So you got that piece. I got all my other little beta cord that I pulled out. I have a, reg, a little beehive that I made, you know, the regular square beehive and stuff. But I'll post that video down below, which is the same video I did this one. Then we got our little, actual little out of the clay pot. That I didn't, I didn't record because you, you can find those all over um, YouTube. So this would probably, you know, grab these guys out of the way, and they could, this one can go like right there. So you got a nice display of bee themed items. Not cute. And there, if you want to put the card there, or not. See you on Monday, Liz. Monday, we are going to, let me pull it out so you can see what I'm working on. Oh, go back. There we go. Yeah. Not a lot of space up here. This stove right here is going to turn into a retro, ret, retro red strove. So I'm going to add a piece in the back here. It's going to be turned painted all red 
and going to be changing the hardware. So stay tuned for Monday at 6 o'clock. And like, like always, pictures will be posted on Instagram. Um, don't forget to check out my new website, littletreasuresbynancy.com. There's some items for sale there. And um, you have any questions, there's a, a contact me there with, with my own email. That one, that there's, there's a contact. There's, you can either send an email to info at littletreasures.com um, or nancy at littletreasures.com. Either one of those comes to me. And I'll be adding more things um, to the the shop soon. And um, I'll probably list that th th these B items, some of these B items on there too. And I also take custom orders. So if you don't see anything that, that you would like on the website, you can always send, message me and um, we can work out a, what you want. Yes, Robin, sponsored by Harnell Media, which is linked down below as well. And don't forget, I'm taking orders for pops too. I had, I had to go and get some black yarn because I ran out of black yarn to make um, Harry Potter's um, cloak. So that's once I clean this up, I'm going back to work on finishing that pop. So until next time, be brave, be strong, and create. So with some bees. We got a lot of bees today. So thank you everyone for staying with me and watching me um make that into a reality. I think. I may have to go and get some more of those and make some more of them because all I need is it's some um, tumbling tire blocks and these little this little bee cut out. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. I'll be back on Monday too. Working on miniature Monday. So um I'll see you guys then.